another quick update from the Wilbury Travels channel. Uh, there was a geocache posted earlier this evening at 8.15 p.m. ish and I got the notification, decided to take a quick look. At the time I was busy doing some work and wasn't too concerned, but I saw it was a puzzle cache by someone I know called Ray Quicks, who is a really good geocacher in the area. Lots of puzzles, lots of caches, and lots of finds. So I thought I'd give it a look over. Wasn't too hopeful. Usually his puzzles are really intricate, well-built, and complex. So it takes a lot of time. Uh, this time, however, it was a little bit simpler. Really well thought out puzzle, but something that I could actually do. So I decided to give it a crack and see if I could get a first find. It took me about five minutes to actually get the file downloaded for the Morse code puzzle that he had created, and then I proceeded to listen to it and decipher the uh, the letters that were being given, the numbers, etc. And eventually got the cache coordinates, checked them in the checker, everything was green, good to go. I rushed out, got in the cab, and as you can see right here, this is what happened next. Well, Ray Quicks posted a new puzzle cache, it is titled Dits and Daz, which involves solving Morse code, which was really fun. Off out to go find it now. Well, I'm driving back from the cache. It was a close call. Frito the Bandito got there about a minute or two before I did, and he had yet to sign the log. So we claimed it as a uh, shared first to find there, which was pretty cool. It was very nicely hidden, hats off to Ray Quicks for the hide, and the puzzle was really interesting. Haven't uh, played around with Morse code for quite a while, so that was fun. And really happy to get out and get a find this evening. And I didn't actually film the cache find because obviously it was a puzzle cache, didn't want to give away the location there, and also didn't want to uh, try filming in the dark with my phone camera, probably wouldn't have come out too good. So, the basics were, when I pulled in, I saw a good friend of mine, the Frito Bandito, he had got there a few minutes before me, he was already at the cache ground zero and had found the cache. So I went up behind him and introduced myself, uh, gave him a little bit of a startle, but all was good. He uh, said where he'd found the cache and uh, showed me the hiding place. We signed the cache as a shared first to find, shook hands and then parted ways. Uh, it was a beautiful night out for caching, really uh, good weather, and it was a fun little trip, really close to home and another first to find to add to my list. One last thing before I go, if you haven't already, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and you can do so at the buttons below. And if you'd like to like the videos or comment on the videos, feel free. Also check out the website and our Cafe Press store, Facebook profile, Twitter, etc. Keep up to date with all the happenings and things going on at Wilbury Travels and keep in touch if you want to ask any questions or suggest uh, stuff to 